Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Here in this section We'll be learning the design of a circular tie column Based on ACI codes Remember In the previous two lectures We have already designed this guy The square tie column Right And that was of course based on ACI codes Now our approach is a circular tie column How can we design a circular tie column? So let's do it, right? But before starting the design calculation, you must know about ACI requirements for column design. And to know better about ACI requirements, of course, you can just watch a lecture in the same playlist. Name is Design of a Square Tie Column Based on ACI Codes. And of course, that is just part 1 of 2, right? Because I have already explained these ACI requirements for columns in that lecture. So we'll not waste our time over here in this step, right? I just recommend you to watch that lecture first. So I'll just go straight into solutions now. And I'll do just an example, right? Of course, this is example one. We are just asked to design a circular tie column to support an axial dead load of 250 cap and an axial live load of 305 cap. We are also informed to begin the design with 2% AST. Also, FC uh, prime is just 4 KSI, which is the concrete strength, and the steel strength, FY, is just 60 KSI. All terms are just clear, nothing is just complicated to understand, so I'll just come straight into solutions. But I'll just design this column in 6 steps. And these steps are also just explained in the previous lecture, right? I just want to spend a little time over here again. The first thing, I'll just determine the design axial load strength for this column. Then, we'll just guess the reinforcement ratio. Remember, according to ACI 318, this must be from 1 to 8%. But we'll not waste our time over here because we are already informed to begin the design with 2% AST, right? Then, we'll just calculate the section size of the given column. The section size means the grass cross section area or the diameter of this guy, right? And in the fourth step, we'll just calculate the reinforcement for the given column. Like AST, area of steel, right? And of course, we can calculate these guys using the same grass cross section area. And then we'll just guess or assume the concrete cover, the best value may be just 1.5 inches, right? And then we'll just do detailing checks to check our column is based on ACI codes or not. To check our column is okay or not, alright? So let's start the design over here now. My first approach will be just the design load, remember those steps, right? And we have only two types of loads, the dead and the live load. So I have a nice formula, 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live. Plug and chug in, of course we can get PU equals 1.2. The dead load is just 250 kf plus 1.6. The live load is just 305 kfs. Do little mathematic with this guy, you can get of course PU equals 788 kf. And this was really easy, I think, right? So this is the design load strength of the G1 circular tie column, right? And the next thing, and the next step, I'll just calculate the size of column. Also remember, this is a circular tie column, so the section must be a circular guy, right? And my approach will be the diameter. And the diameter can be found using the same formula, the grass cross section area equals pi of d squared divided by 4. This is pi, right? Or you can say pi r square. Also remember from the previous two lectures, the design load may be just found using the same formula, right? P equals theta alpha 0.85 fc prime, edge negative ast plus fy ast. Just look, the grass cross section area can be found in this equation. AG. When I calculate AG from this given equation, of course, then can I get or calculate the diameter of the column, right? Also, remember from the previous two lectures, our design capacity will be just alpha equals 0 
and the theta equals 0.65 because this is just a tie column and per spiral column this thing is just little different right so plug and check in we can get pu equals 788 and this is just theta which is 0.65 times alpha 0 0.80 times 0.85 epsi prime is just for ksi age is unknown negative ast which is 2 percent of grass cross section area so it's mean 0 0.02 ag plus apy is 60 ksi and again ast is just 2 percent do little mathematics with this guy we can get 788 and this long 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 calculation you can of course use your calculator to get 2.3 blah 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 ag dividing both sides by 2.35664 you can get the grass cross section area of the given column in square inches when i have this guy of course i can calculate the diameter just look at our hair the ag is known right d squared divided by 4 just plug this ag in this equation we can get in this palm now look at our hair I only need the diameter I don't need the 5 over 4 with this diameter so I'll just multiply both sides with 4 I can get remember the 4 4 will cross each other also just divide both sides by 5 and the 5 5 will cross each other so the d square will be just just do little mathematics with this side the left side you can get 4 2 5 1 7 3 8 now I don't I don't need the d square of course I need only the d right which is the diameter of the given column so put the square root on both sides we can get d equals 20.6 inches I'll say it's 20.5 inches right I just round that guy up so it's good now and my next approach will be just uh, the, the grass cross section area calculation I just put this diameter over here in this equation so of course I can get the grass cross section area equals 330 square inches right and the 12th step will be just the steel area AST so my approach is the required steel area right AST remember AST is just the area covered by main bars these dots these, uh, these are of course 8 I think yeah of course these are 8 these eight dots just represent the main bars and the area covered by these main bars in section is just known by AST, right? Remember, we did a few minutes ago, the grass cross section area was just 330 square inches and the diameter was just 20.5 inches. Also remember, the design strength or the design load strength was just in this palm the formula was just like in this palm right to rearrange this formula for AST of course we can get the formula in this palm so of course we can calculate the required steel area from this equation all things are given right so plug and check in and remember also remember the design capacity is over here the same thing right we did a few minutes ago this guy so plug and check in PU is known right which was I think maybe 7, 7, 8, 8, right give negative of the theta is given 0.65 the alpha is given 0 0.80 times 0 0.85 fc prime is just for ksi and the ag is 330 square inches divided by the theta which is 0 0.65 and the alpha 0 0.80 fy is 60 ksi negative of 0.85 fc prime is just for ksi so do little mathematics just for ast we can get 6.95 square inches and this is the area called by main bars right now what about the number of main bars are the longitudinal bars right just look at this section the number of main bars are just eight but how much should I need or should I plug in my design? Let me do this approach in a nice table, right? This is a small table. Having column of bar number, area in square inches, and number of bars. Remember, number of bars can be calculated using 
the AST divided by AB. And then I'll do some selection, right? Of course, I'll try number 4, number 6, number 7, and number 9. You can try any bar, right? And the area of number 4 bar in square inches is just 1196 square inches. And for number 6, we have, of course, for number 7, we have this guy. And for number 9, we have 0.994 square inches. These are just the area of bars, right? Now let me come into numbers. Just, we have AST, just divide this AST by bar area, right? I'll just divide by number 4 bar area now, so you can get 3 pi of number of bars. When you divide AST by area of number 6 bar, you can get 16. When you divide AST by number four, number 7 bars area, you can get of course 11 number of bars and so on. Now let me pick a nice option over here, right? Uh, what do you say about this one? Number 7 and 11 bars. I think th this is best option over here, right? So I'll say I'll use uh, 11 bars, number 7. So what will be total AST now? Just multiply the area bar with number of bars. We can get the total AST now, right? And this can be used just for detailing check. And of course, you can also use for number of main bars on this table, right? And this table was explained in the last previous two lectures. You can also use them, right? Just look at where here we have number 7. And number of bars are 11. And of course, the area is just 6.60. .60. So this was just our approach. How can I represent over here this, these guys? The diameter was just 20.5 inches and the numbers are just two over here. These dots will just represent the main bars, right? And these are of course 11 in number. Now let's just uh, pick the tie selections over here. Right? This is my next approach. And the tie is always just at the back of main bars. Just look at where here, this guy. How can I select the tie just for my column? Just l let me say I'll use number 3. But why number 3? Why should not I, I just take number 4, number 5 maybe? Right? Why should I take number 3? Remember from SEI 318 requirements, the minimum tie size is just number 3 bar per longitudinal bars up to number 10. Do you remember that from the past lecture? Okay, and or, or you can say number 4 bar per longitudinal bars larger than number 10. Right? What do you get now? Look at my bar size. It's number 4. Uh, sorry, number 7, right? Which is of course just less than uh, number 10. So I'll say I'll use just number 3 bar, right? Because the, my bar is just less than number 10. So that's why I'm saying that, right? I'll use, say, this is uh, just uh, number 3 bar. Now what about the tie spacing? Remember from SEI 318s, we have a nice three options. I'll just take the least of these three, right? And the first one is just put a times the diameter of tie bar. Remember? 48 times, it's number 3, right? The tie bar is just number 3. So 3 over 8. I can get 18 inches. The next option is just 16 times the diameter of main bar. So 16 times the diameter of main bar, it's just number 7. So 7 over 8. Of course, I can get 14 inches. And the third one is just the least column dimensions. We have, of course, 24.5 inches, which is the diameter, right? So which one is just the least in these guys? Of course, it's just 14 inches. I'll say use number 3, a rate of 14 inches center to center, right? This will be just the spacing or the pitch of ties. So we did this and my next approach is just the detailing check over here. Let me check the steel percentage. Remember, according to ACI 318s, this must be just from 1 to 8 percent, right? So I can say AST divided by AG. This will give me the percentage. And AST was just 6.6. .6. Remember from that table, right? 
and AG it was just of course 330 square inches so we can get 0 0.02 which means it's 2 percent remember from SCI 318 this must be from 1 to 8 percent and of course this is just between these two guys so we are also okay over here right we're just okay right and steel percentage and the next thing I just want to check the main bar spacing let me just assume the concrete cover equals 0.15 inches right and remember according to ACI 318 main bar spacing must be just less than or equal to 6 inches do you remember this guy from past lecture all right so I can say main bar spacing will be just the circumference divided by the number of bars and the circumference will be just this the this this circumference the effective one right at the line passing through the center of main bars no problem if you take this guy just little straight no problem right because the spacing will be just a straight form and uh, in this form the circumference just shows uh, the, the curve path right so no problem if it's just uh, little larger than six or little less than six no problem right I can say remember the circumference is always equals to pi d or 2 pi r so I can write this formula in this form to pi d divided by n I can say s will represent the main bar spacing the pi times the diameter now how, which one diameter should I take remember the total diameter is just 24.5 inches right and I'll just subtract two times concrete cover for one side and another side and the concrete cover is just 1.5 inches right next I will subtract two times the tie bar diameter because I want to take the diameter up to the main bar center right and then I will subtract just one times diameter I mean uh, the, the only one diameter because half diameter for one side and half for another side of main bar right and I'll divide this guy by 11 because I have 11 number of bars when you do little mathematics with this guy of course you can get the spacing equals 4.53 inches and remember according to ACI this must be less than or equal to 6 inches so we are just okay over here and this was just our design right look at this right hand side the design is already shown all right so where just for the next lecture we'll be just designing a spiral reinforced concrete column and this was the really good right the spiral means like a spring do you remember this guy like this one so we'll be designing this column right and nothing thank you for watching see you next time and wassalam